Well, let's take a look at Jupyter Notebook. So these are web-based applications for authoring documents that combine live code, narrative text, equations, visualizations. Uh, so if you're doing data science or you're building ML models, you absolutely are gonna be working with Jupyter Notebooks. They're always integrated into uh, uh, cloud service providers, ML tools. Um, uh, so Jupyter Notebook actually came about from IPython. So IPython is the precursor of it and they extracted that feature out. It became Jupyter Notebook. Ip IPython is now a kernel uh, to run uh, Python. So when you execute out Python code here, it's using IPython, which is just a version of Python. Uh, Jupyter Notebooks o were overhauled and better integrated into an IDE called Jupyter Labs, which we'll talk about here in a moment. And you generally want to open uh, notebooks in labs, the legacy web-based interfaces known as Jupyter Classic Notebooks. So this is what the old one looks like. You can still open them up, but everyone uses Jupyter Labs now, okay? So let's talk about Jupyter Labs. Jupyter Labs is the next generation web-based user interface. All uh, familiar features of the classic Jupyter Notebook uh, is in a flexible, powerful user interface. It has notebooks, a terminal, a text editor, a file browser, rich outputs. Uh, Jupyter Labs will eventually replace the classic uh, Jupyter Notebooks. So there you go.